guys, it's Sagittarius Soltero. I'm going to go ahead and do the weekly spread for Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. I'm sorry, guys, that it cut off yesterday. Yesterday was just a big mess. Um, I tried to film with my iPad. My iPad shut off during Virgo reading. Uh, then I go to do the rest of Virgo to uh, Sagittarius on my phone. And then I just run out of time. And it's like, man, I had so much to do. So Plus, I was starting to get aggravated with the whole situation. So... I'm going to go ahead and do your guys' signs. Once again, I apologize. Um, I'm in a better mood today. So yesterday I was just cranky, and it's probably best if I just don't finish the readings. But, so I'm going to do for the reading of the 24th to the 30th for um, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, okay? So I'm going to see kind of what's going on for the week. Um, it's going to be general. It's not really going to be love-related unless the love cards come out, which, I, you know, it depends if it does or not. Um... Also, I'm going to do like Zodiac cards that could be a factor, situation cards, then after that I'm going to do just a six card spread to see what else is going on, okay? Make sure you like and subscribe. I'll have everything time stamped down below, okay? Watch for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or cross watch for a sign you're dealing with. Um, if you guys want to donate to my cash app, it is in the, it'll be in my description box or it's on my about page, okay? So you guys can do that and follow my TikTok, so... It's a good time so let's go ahead and start with Capricorn okay and I got me some new incense here it's Bahamas so I feel like I'm on a beach all right Capricorn let's see what is the overall weekly energy for you guys okay you guys got two or actually three these cards are thin all right so let love be your guide I like that live a life from love guided by love okay everything is you everything is as you've created okay so whatever you're creating for yourself that's how everything's meant to be dream big you just got really good ones dream big dream with your heart let love be your guide then we have be authentic okay you guys have a good reading so far very straightforward so we got to move that forward okay let me go ahead and get more cards All right, so what do we have for uh, Capricorn? What else? These cards don't want to come out. Ooh. All right, patience and planning in reverse. Okay, suffering in silence, though. We have another one that fell. Okay, discontent and boredom. All right, let's see. So I don't know. So it's like this is more of a spiritual message. I feel like you guys are going through it. If I'm not going to be, you know, not going to sit here and lie to you, I feel like you guys are going through it. Um, so this is more like an inspirational message this week for you guys. Just to, you know, be authentic, dream big, let love be your guide. Okay. Yeah, we have roller coaster, divine feminine. So you could be having situations with a feminine this week. So it could be anybody. So be you know a mother a sister a girlfriend you know whatever so just take what resonates but something to do with having a situation with a divine feminine I'll get more into it roller coaster you could be having just a lot of back and forth I'm getting like love situation because we have discontent and boredom stuff and in silence so maybe you're going through like a real crazy relationship okay where it's up and down there's nothing being planned here it's in reverse let love be your guide. Why is that here for Capricorn? Okay, six of swords, a chariot in reverse. Okay, so let love be your guide. Move. It's like you need to move away from whatever isn't moving. Okay, so if something's stagnant, it's like you need to move towards whatever, you know, in a different direction. Whatever isn't moving for you, move in a different direction. Everything is as you've created. Why is that here? Five of swords. But you have to be honest with yourself. Because then we have the Empress, okay? So everything is as you've created. So it's like whatever you want. Like if you want growth, you have to make sure it's coming from a good place, okay? Not a mental standpoint. You make sure that to have growth that it's something genuine, okay? It's not something that you're lying about or, you know, hiding. Dream big. Dream with your heart. I like that. That's pretty. Dream big. Okay, three of swords. Maybe after a time of heartbreak. Dream about, you know, moving on, having a new life. Let me get one more card for Dream Big here. After a time of heartbreak, you know. Yeah, Six of Cups, something from your past, you know. It's like, you maybe you have a lot of past pain, 
it was not a heartbreak. There's just a lot of pain that happened in your past. And it's like telling you just to move forward and dream and have inspiration, you know? Because maybe in the past there's a lot of things that hurt you that happened in your life. You know, a lot of things that hurt, a lot of things that caused, you know, scar tissue. I know I'm getting that song by Red Hot Chili Peppers for some reason, but I feel like a lot of things from your past like affected you now, you know? And it's like you need to move on from maybe you had family members in the past tell you couldn't do something. So I think some of you guys need to hear this message, but there's like maybe a mother or a father, somebody that used to tell you that you just couldn't do it in life. You couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. And it's like, just dream big. Don't let your past affect you, you know? Discontent and boredom. Why is that here? Discontent and boredom. Page of Pentacles. It's like you want something new in your life. Something better. Yeah, King of Pentacles reverse the lovers and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, because you feel like whatever situation you're in doesn't give you any stability. Okay, it's not reliable. It's not long term. I feel like you want something new in your life. The lovers, page of pentacles. You want something that's more stable. That's something that's new, possibly. That's genuine. That's, you know, balanced. Something that has potential. All right, why suffering in silence here? You guys could be finding something new this week. Could be a Gemini or an earth sign. All right, suffering in silence. Yeah, temperance reversed. You guys are, like, all over the place mentally. You guys are really struggling. You guys are all over the place. You guys don't... If it's not, like, mentally, you guys are just scattered. Like, you guys just can't think. You guys are just, you know... Your brain's in a fog. Yeah, with the Two of Pentacles, you're just back... Bouncing back and forth, okay? The Nine of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. Try not to let things affect you, okay? You're trying not to let things mentally affect you. But it's, like, there's a lot of, like, hidden truths. A lot of things you don't know about that's driving you crazy or just a lot of things that you're not sure of you know tastes good I got dragon fruit all right patience and planning reverse why is that here all right ten of pentacles yeah so it's like patience and planning reverse it's like you're kind of not really giving up but you're not really Put a whole lot into your future. I feel like you know this week that something good's going to happen with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, that's why you're not really planning for it. Like, something good's going to happen when you're not expecting it. Yeah, I got it. Six of Wands reverse. Or Nine of Wands reverse. So, sorry. Anyways, Nine of Wands reverse. So, um, basically, it's like after a time of being wounded, you're ready to fight battle again. Not let things affect you anymore. Okay. Being stronger, and it's like I feel like a lot of good things are coming to you with the Ten of Pentacles. Things you didn't expect that you weren't planning for. Okay? You guys could just have a check show up in your mailbox one day and be like, holy crap, you know, like thousand dollars with my name on it. Awesome. You know, so who knows? Divine Feminine. Why is that here? What's going on with the Divine Feminine this week for Capricorn? Okay, death. So something could be coming to an end with a Divine Feminine. Tower reversed. Okay. I'm not saying, like, a death or anything. I'm just saying, like, maybe you're avoiding somebody, okay? You guys are avoiding contact with somebody you feel like it's over, okay? So if it's a mother, a sister, a, um, some kind of relative that's a woman, a girlfriend, okay? Let me get one more on that. So why is the death in the tower reverse? It could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, definitely. Page of Cups reverse, yeah. It could be a water sign. Um, There's just someone you just don't want to have feelings for anymore that you feel like it should be over with. Okay, I don't know if it's a sister, a relative, I don't know what it is, but somebody here you feel like it's just pointless and you want to end something and avoid any kind of con contact, any feelings. Okay, why is romantic, co or why is roller coaster here? <coughs> Ace of Cups, okay, so there's like an abundance of love here for somebody. Ace of Cups, we get one more. All right, Ace of Cups. What is that here? All right, Six of Wands. So you are going to be seen by somebody or acknowledged, okay? Could happen all of a sudden. Maybe, like, it just happens all of a sudden real quick, all right? Somebody notices you and you just fall in love for, with somebody or there's just a genuine amount of love here. Okay, Ten of Cups reversed on the bottom, though. All right, let's see, like, a couple signs or planets that could be affecting you this week. Okay, we have Jupiter, so that's about expansion. It's Pisces and Sagittarius. 
Okay, we got Taurus and Scorpio. Let me get one more, like, Zodiac sign. Okay, we got Venus. Let me get one more sign. Okay, Gemini. So, communication. All right, seventh house on the bottom, Libra. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on here now. So, what's going on with the Venus? Okay, so beauty, success. What's going on here is the um, Venus. Nothing wants to come out. Come on. There we go. Four swords. Taking a break on yourself. Maybe you're trying to heal yourself because you're not feeling like you're attractive or your your body doesn't feel good. So you want to take care of yourself and get sleep this week. Okay? Get rest. Maybe you don't feel rested. Maybe you guys got bags on your eyes. You know, you feel like you're a mess. You don't look good. Okay? So you guys are wanting to get more sleep. Okay? Why is Jupiter here? For Capricorn, Jupiter. What's going to be expanding for you guys? Okay, the Seven of Wands and the Devil. Oh, there's, it could be somebody that contacts you that's just really toxic or somebody that you're trying to get away with. Or someone that's trying to get away with something. Someone that's in your energy that won't leave. Okay. Could be a Capric another Capricorn. Second house, so Taurus energy. What's that about? Alright, what's um, Taurus energy about? Alright, Seven of Pentacles and the Sun. So you guys are wanting to work on yourself. You guys are about money this week. So wanting to focus on your happiness, your success. Okay, focusing on your job. Maybe you have, you know, you work with a Taurus that you guys really get along with. And they bring happiness to your life. Okay, they really help you with your job. What's the Gemini about? Okay, Six of Pentacles. Could be having a Gemini that's helping you like financially or just in your energy giving to you somehow. Could be getting a gift. Okay, maybe you have a, a really strong connection with a Gemini because we have the Two of Cups. Some that's equal give and take. Alright, what's the Scorpio here? Scorpio. Alright, the Fool. You could be taking a new chance with the Scorpio, the world reverse. Could be a person that you have unfinished business with and you're deciding to take another chance. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a friend. Maybe a Scorpio that you were friends with. You know, you guys got out of contact, but now you're wanting to be in contact again. Okay? With the judgment reverse. Could be a past person that, you know, you gave the wrong judgment to. Alright? Or thought the wrong thing about them. Alright, so let's see other signs you could be dealing with. So we have <clears throat> Scorpio, Gemini, um, Taurus. Ouch. And then Pisces and Sagittarius for that. Venus, I think that's, um, is that Aries that rules that? Something rules that. So let's go ahead and see other signs you guys could be dealing with. So we got Gemini, <clears throat> Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, twice here. Okay, Aries, Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, Capricorn. You guys got like almost every sign in here. So let me write down your guys' message real quick. So we have... I like your guys' inspirational messages. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm going to go ahead and do just more messages you guys need to hear for this week. My incense is going everywhere. Alright, let's go ahead and get three shuffles. And get six card spread for Capricorn. 
and I am doing like an extended for each sign. So this reading probably for each sign is going to be like 16, 17 minutes. All right, so that's why it took so long to film the other videos. I want to make sure I get you guys a clear weekly message. All right, so we have six of swords reversed, ten of pentacles reversed, the hierophant, page of wands, queen of pentacles reversed, and the king of wands. Something about like um, a relationship here. Okay, high priestess reversed. Something you don't want to walk away from. Um, there's a feeling of not feeling appreciated or feeling valued, maybe at your job or just in general. But there's something you want to look forward to, something you're, you know, passionate about here. Could be something new you're wanting to explore too, something that interests you with the Page of Wands. Okay, you guys could be going back to school or just talking about doing something new. So what Six of Swords reverse about? What? what aren't you guys able to walk away from? Well, then there's a Six of Swords. Let me get one more. In the upright. It's like you guys are telling yourself you can't get away from something, but you can't. With the Seven of Swords reversed, okay? High Priestess reversed and the Four of Cups. It's like you're in a battle with yourself this week. Like, should I stay or should I go? Should I ignore something? You, you, it's like you can't trust your intuition or trust yourself, trust your... Something about yourself, you guys can't trust it. I don't know if you can't trust your ability to walk away from something, so, to let something new into your life. I'm, I don't know. All right, because then we have Ten of Pentacles reversed. Why is that here? Knight of Cups. Okay, someone could be delivering something to you. So you could be in a love gesture from somebody this week. But you're not really sure if it's going to have potential. That could be it. Let me see. With the sun, they do bring you a lot of happiness. It could be a water sign or a Leo. But maybe you're not really sure like where it's headed. Or if it has long-term effect, long-term potential. Okay, why is a hair fit here? Why is hair fit here? Ooh. Okay, we have the strength. So it's like you're holding back from something. One second. My chair got stuck. Ouch. All right. All right, why is the strength here with the hair fit? It's like you're holding back from somebody, something. Could be a Taurus or a Leo. What are you holding back from? Trying to find strength. Maybe just trying to find strength in a relationship or whatever you're dealing with. Maybe with a father figure, trying to have strength with the Five of Swords. You could feel like somebody's lying to you. Okay, someone's not being honest. Someone's holding back what they want to say. Could be someone out of marriage too. Somebody could be secretly married, not telling you. What's Page of Wands? What are you guys looking towards? Like, what's something new you guys are looking towards? Page of Wands again. So something you're passionate about. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Maybe you're, you're looking towards somebody, like you're interested in somebody. Okay. Queen of Pentacles reverse. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So if you feel like you guys aren't getting what... I feel like luck is on your side. So if you guys aren't feeling like you're getting what you um, deserve or appreciate... Like, I feel like better things are coming. If you guys feel like you're kind of losing financially, like, you know, feel like you don't have enough money, I feel like that's coming to an end. So we got the King of Wands reversed. Okay. And the Seven of Pentacles, though. It's like you're still, after a time of feeling like you're uninspired to work on something, I feel like there is potential of something building here. Okay. Why is King of Wands here? There's something that someone that's passionate about you or some, yeah. The King of Swords and the Four of Wands. We have Fire Sign. Somebody wants to speak to you about a commitment. Okay? Queen of Cups reversed. But maybe somebody hasn't been emotionally open or telling them how they feel. Okay? So let's go ahead and see. Could we be dealing with a Taurus here? Leo. I have Leo twice. Pisces. So, yeah, basically. So... All right, guys, let's go ahead and do Aquarius. Aquarius, sorry, guys, this is a long video at 1940. Okay, Aquarius, which I'm an Aquarius moon, so I was reading more into that, and it's like, man, that really resonates. Like, my, the moon sign and, like, how you are as a person, it's crazy. Like, how much your moon sign can really resemble who you are. Because I was reading more about it, and I'm like, damn, that is me. 
All right. Okay, you guys had two come out. So, time to do it differently. So, do something differently here. Following the path of another. So, it's like your path is where you need to be. Okay, all is at your fingertips. Basically, it's like you can just grab it and it's there, you know? Let's see. Well, yeah, I told you guys I'd film for you. Um, I love you guys. So of course, I'm going to film. You guys have the crown chakra. I feel bad I didn't get to finish your guys' uh, video yesterday. So, I made sure to wake up early after taking my son to school to film. So, base chakra reversed. Okay, so it's like you're using your intuition or using, like you're thinking a lot about something, contemplating, but there's something from within you're not developing. Because then we have new beginnings reversed. Something isn't being delivered here. It's like you're not able to fix something within yourself. Let's see. Okay, we have, you guys are keeping track of something with the journal. We'll get more on that. Okay, then we have tragedy and then trash, something that you're getting rid of. So, let's see Aquarius. Alright, Aquarius, what do you guys need to do differently? So this week, what do you guys need to do differently? Okay. <laughs> Basically, you guys need to walk away from a situation. We got the tower reversed, five of pentacles, nine of cups, and the death. You need to focus on yourself, basically, in something that doesn't make you feel fulfilled. So if somebody doesn't make you feel good, they make you feel alone, it's like you need to just not give to it anymore, okay, basically. So so if, if, just focus on your, your pure abundance and happiness. Maybe you used to care too much about other people. You know, now it's like, what about my happiness, you know? Fall on the path of another, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so it's like there's lack of direction here. With the Ten of Wands and the Chariot, it's like you want to move forward. But you feel overwhelmed, like you've been working too much for nothing. Because so with the Knight of Pentacles reversed, so you feel like you've been working too hard for nothing. Okay, or exhausted. Why is Crown Chakra here? All right, six of wands reversed. Not feeling like you're getting that attention that you want or being recognized. And it's like you know from within that you're not. Maybe at your workplace. Okay, with the temperance. But you're trying to remain balanced and calm. Let's get one more on that. On the crown chakra. It's like you're trying to remain not in your head and stuck. But it's like you're not getting the attention you want. Knight of swords reversed. Maybe you're not getting the communication. Because the crown chakra is all about your thinking and your mind. Maybe you're not getting this you know, communication like you want, but you're trying not to let it affect you. You're not getting the attention, the recognition like you want. Okay, why is base chakra here reversed? Nine of swords and the queen of cups. Something within yourself, somebody that you, you have a lot of love for that you're stressing about, and that's why you can't re, you know, center yourself or bring yourself back together. You feel like you're losing yourself because of somebody that you are thinking about. Somebody's getting it where you can't move forward. So we have new beginnings reversed. Okay, there's just not a new beginning with somebody that you love. That could be it as well. It's like you want to have like a rooted maybe life with this person, maybe have children with them, but it's like it's just not going anywhere. It's not moving forward, and it's really giving you anxiety. Okay, what's the journal here? What are you guys keeping notes on? What are you guys keeping notes on? Okay, the judgment, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. How somebody's treating you. If someone deserves another chance or not, basically. Somebody from your past. It's like you're trying to think whether or not this person treats you good if they deserve another chance with you. And it seems like they don't treat you good. With the Queen of Pentacles reverse, you don't feel like you're getting what you deserve. I'm trying to think like how this person treats you if they're worthy of another chance. Let me get one more on that. Yeah, Seven of Wands. It's like you're trying to... Keep them at arm's length or wonder if you should give them another shot, basically. If you should just ignore them, you should block them. What's tragedy about? Seven of Pentacles. Feeling like you're kind of wasting your time. Because then we got the Hermit and the Seven of Pentacles. 
kind of stuck feeling like you're wasting your time on something or somebody's not coming towards you and it's like you're still wanting growth but you feel like there's just nothing really moving forward like I said I feel like somebody's not giving you the same that you're giving to them hey I'm doing your sign next yeah I'm filming okay babe. trash so what are you guys gonna discard Aquarius what are you guys gonna get rid of this week four pentacles reverse let go of something here Okay, but then we have the Page of Cups, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Letting go of whatever doesn't feel like it's working for you financially. Okay, whatever that might be. But I feel like you are accepting love into your life, though, or letting an offer of love come in. Let's get one more on that Page of Cups. Why is that here? But I feel like whatever isn't working financially, you're getting rid of. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. So somebody's wanting to give you a new beginning or offer some kind of stability. Okay, or new start, new beginning. But I feel like you have to let go of whatever isn't making you feel abundant. But the four of wands, someone could be wanting commitment with you. But you have to give it a break and kind of wonder if this is what you want. Alright, let's see zodiac signs that might be... Um, okay, so we have Saturn is a planet. Let's get two more. Okay, we have Aries, Capricorn. Let me get one more sign. And Gemini. Gemini has been coming out for everybody. And I think it's because Mercury retrograde is coming up on the 29th. And that's ruled by Gemini and Virgo. Because Virgo and then... So there's something this week about the moon. So something that you're dreaming about that you're not really sure. Like a fantasy if it's going to come to life. Okay. So maybe you guys are having a lot of dreams and a lot of fantasies this week as well. With the moon and then Neptune. That's both about dreams and fantasy. So... Alright, so with Saturn, that's about challenge and wisdom here. So, why is Saturn here for you guys' planet this week? Alright, the Queen of Swords reverse. Realize you have to cut communication off of somebody, but it's like you don't really want to. Because you're stuck. It's like you feel like you need to cut somebody out, or maybe block somebody on Facebook, but you're kind of torn. You're like, uh, if I do this, then I'll lose this person forever, you know? Alright, why is Aries here? For Aquarius. No, it's not for you. Why is Aries here for Aquarius? Okay, we have two of cups, five of wands, reverse, wheel of fortune. Alright, so there is a strong connection with an Aries here. And I feel like you guys aren't going to argue anymore. And this is going to be like what's faded. Like you guys are meant to come together in like a more loving way without argue, arguing or fighting. Alright, why is Capricorn here? Four of cups and the high priestess. So your intuition's telling you maybe to ignore Capricorn. Or to not really pay attention to them. Okay, maybe you feel like there's a lot of secrets they keep and you just don't really know if you can trust this person. Alright, why is Gemini here? Okay, Eight of Wands reversed. Maybe you're not getting much communication from a Gemini. Like maybe you want to reach out, but you feel like you guys are at a distance. Nine of Wands reversed, Page of Swords. I feel like you want to be the first one to make communication though. If it's not them, it's you. Somebody wants to be the first one to say something. Okay, because I feel like somebody don't want this tension anymore. They don't want, you know, film. Yeah, they don't be in their head about this anymore. The Eight of Swords reversed. So you guys could be wanting to talk to a Gemini or have communication with one. Okay. Because we are going to have a full moon soon. So that's usually about wanting to end, you know, cycles and close out situations. So let's go ahead and see other signs you could be dealing with. And then I'll do six card spread for you. So we have Scorpio. Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio. Man, we have a lot of Scorpio in this. Pisces, a lot of water in this one. Sagittarius. Okay. So let me write your guys' message down real quick, and then I'll do your six-card spread. Okay, and then we have signs. I mean, Gemini has been in almost everybody's reading. Gemini, Capricorn, and Aries. Aries really hasn't. I think they were in maybe like one person's reading. It was like the second one. Okay, so let's go ahead, guys, and do a six-card spread. 
see what else is coming in. Let's do a six card spread for you guys real quick. Let's see what else is coming for Aquarius this week. Alright, King of Cups, somebody that loves you here, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Moon reversed, the Devil, King of Swords, I feel like someone's going to communicate with you, okay, it could be a Water Sign or a Capricorn, maybe um, also an Aquarius, this person wants to talk to you, some about communication, someone wanting to be, you know, up front, tell you how they feel, maybe they feel like there's a lack of growth between you guys, there's a lot of back and forth, but I feel like... You know, this person, I don't know if they're obsessed with you, but they're maybe they like the idea of this relationship. The justice, I feel like they want to make things fair. Okay, because they know that you guys are maybe separated or there's like a lack of commun um, commitment here. Seven of Cups, reverse. I feel like this person does want to choose you. And the Eight of Cups, reverse. They don't want to walk away from this. But it's like you guys need to communicate about something. So, let me get one shuffle and then I'll go ahead and clarify. So, why is the King of Cups here for Aquarius? Why is King of Cups here? Someone that has a lot of feelings for you that don't express it. Why is King of Cups here? Okay, the Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups reverse, Ace of Wands reverse. It's like something that's not growing here, but someone wants to communicate. Okay, because someone's afraid to show their feelings. Okay, someone's afraid to give in to their feelings, express their feelings. But they want to be more verbal and talk about something here on a more serious note. Why is Two of Pentacles here? Something about juggling back and forth. Someone's like not really sure what to do. Seven of Wands reversed. And the Star. So I feel like you guys, there's something you guys are really hoping for this week. And you guys aren't ignoring it, but there's a lot of indecision. Not really sure if it's going to work. Okay. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles reversed. We have, okay, the World the Fool reversed and the Hierophant reversed. There's some kind of new cycle in your life, okay? There's something that wasn't working. Maybe it was a relationship or something you wanted wasn't working. But I feel like there's a new beginning or a new cycle happening, okay? There's a new cycle after time of things not working with somebody else or working in general. There's going to be a new beginning. So the moon here, reverse. Why is the moon reversed? Eight of Cups, reverse. See, like I said, somebody can't get away from this. The devil, reverse. Somebody doesn't want to have a toxic attachment to this, but they still want to communicate Knight of Wands reverse but they don't want to do anything too impulsive this person does have a lot of emotions for you that they're wanting to express why is the devil here all right page of cups reversed four pentacles the lovers reversed so yeah there's a sense of somebody still holding on to this connection even if they don't feel like it's being reciprocated or feeling like it's you know not being balanced but somebody like wants an apology or somebody's expecting an apology but not saying it. Yeah, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, somebody's kind of stubborn. And it's like, they realize, like, yeah, there's a situation where you guys are kind of off balance here. But this person's, like, not wanting to apologize or they're keeping their apologies in for whatever reason. Or you are. Somebody is. King of Swords. Alright, so we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. The High Priestess reversed. Sun reversed. Okay, Six of Swords, Page of Wands. I feel like somebody wants a new beginning because they're unhappy. Okay, they're unhappy. They want to come clean and tell you the truth. Okay, they want to move past whatever happened in the past between you guys. And I feel like they want something new here because they're unhappy where things are going. And they want to let the past be the past. Okay, like somebody just wants something to be over from the past and have a new beginning is what I'm seeing. Like if you didn't have like much of a... It could be... I think it's the same person they're dealing with. If you didn't have much of a connection or anything built with somebody, I feel like... You know, they are really, like, attached to you. They have attachments to you. They're kind of obsessed with this connection. Okay, and I feel like they want to reinvest into this. Because there wasn't much growth. There wasn't much being built. But they want to start over. Could be done with a Cancer or a Capricorn. Capricorn twice here. Leo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer. You guys could be done with anybody here. Okay, let's go ahead and do Pisces. A weekly reading so it's at 34 55 okay 
All right, let's go ahead and do Pisces. All right, so you are worthy. Aim for what you want and believe in yourself is your first message. Number eight. But that's your favorite number, so that's ironic. Number eight. That's my mom's favorite number, and she's a Pisces. Okay, you are your greatest gift. There's another eight in this, 28. That's weird. Yeah, and then after that we have 16, which eight plus eight is 16. Yeah, that's weird. Ooh, and then 16 plus 16 is 28. So it's like it's all going together. That's creepy. Yeah, like everything's all, whoa. So yeah, I would look for synchronicities this week, guys. Might be a lot of signs, a lot of, that's weird. Okay. Tell you something. Yeah, because that never happens. Usually the cards are like one and then like 15 or something weird. It's not like numbers that add up, you know. Weird. Yeah. Wow. So you are worthy and then you are your greatest gift. So those are the two cards. So like loving yourself, knowing that you're valuable. So that's your guys' message this week. So let's get more. Spiritual strength. Grow, going from within. Okay, the waiting game in reverse. Something you're not wanting to wait for anymore. Okay, something you're just losing time of. The triumph and success and the shadow. You're doing a lot of shadow work and coming from within, getting clarity on something. Okay? One from within. Let's get more cards. I like your guys' message. It's kind of giving me goosebumps. And I don't usually get goosebumps from reading. All right. Let's get three more cards. See, and then I'll clarify with the tarot what this means. All right, we have projected. Something in the future is going to happen. Interview some talks to, about something here. So you're going to talk to somebody about something. There's going to be a location change or something physical happening. Like location-wise. So let me get two more shuffles. I like this incense. I think it's yours. It's uh, Bahamas. It's like a green incense. I don't know, I'm lighting it, it smells good. Good energy. Okay, you are worthy. Why is that here? Number eight. Okay, page of swords reverse, ace of wands reverse. Okay, you guys could feel like you're losing inspiration with something. Feeling like you just don't really know. Maybe you're not speaking to somebody and you're losing hope about yourself, losing inspiration in a situation. Let me get one more card on that. Ace of wands reverse, page of swords reverse. Yeah, but the emperor it could be with an Aries. But somebody's making you feel like you're not valuable. Or you just aren't feeling good enough because you're not communicating with somebody. Or it could just be that you want to take action and know your worth, okay? After a time of not feeling good enough. Waiting game reverse. I feel like you guys are becoming impatient with something. Yeah, the chariot and the six of swords reverse. There's something here that's not moving. It's like you there's something here that you want to get away from, but you're not able to. But it's like you want to move forward. But there's something that's holding you back from moving on. Let me get one more on that. It's like you want to move forward with something, but it's like something's keeping you back from moving on. Page of Wands reversed. It's like you're losing inspiration to like move forward. It's like you're feeling stuck. Alright, why is spiritual strength here? I feel like you guys are going from within. Trying to heal yourself. Four of Pentacles. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Swords, Reverse. Could feel like you have to just let somebody go. But you're still wanting to hold on to them. But it's like you feel like for your best bet, you know, you need to kind of let something go. For your, you know, for your best self. Maybe keep yourself together and you have to let somebody else go. Because somebody's taking away your worth or your value. It's like you're really holding on to your value. With the Four of Pentacles, like you're really holding on to whatever you have left of yourself. Like somebody's, like somebody's taking your self value away from you, and it's like you're holding on to whatever's left. Okay, and it's like the timing's right to like re-establish yourself, your strength. All right, what's sold here? Like, why is the sold card here? Page of Cups reverse. Maybe you're not accepting somebody's offer about going somewhere else. Key of Pentacles. Maybe somebody wants to offer you, you know, a home somewhere else, like location, but it's like you're not really wanting to accept it. Somebody could be long term, could be an Earth sign. They want to you know, offer you some kind of offer of like moving somewhere or living with them in another state, another place. 
but it's like you're not wanting to accept it. Maybe. Interview. So what are you guys talking about with somebody this week? Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Reverse, Nine of Swords. Some kind of communication that needs to be said. Some kind of conversation that you've been having stress about. Okay, you're stressed about a conversation with somebody about how you want to be with them or you want to be like in a financial relationship or something more stable with somebody. Let's get, yeah, Two of Wands, the Empress, and the Seven of Wands reversed. So you're talking about how you want to have growth with somebody, but there's a lot of stagnancy or there's a lot of decisions somebody has to make. It's like there's two directions to go. It's like you want to move forward, but it's like you're not really sure what you want to do. So what's going to be projected to you guys in the future, so the next days or weeks? We have the projected cards, so. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands. Let me see. Trying to heal yourself. The hair fit reversed, the full reversed. So it could just be that you, you know, don't want to accept somebody's offer here. That you don't want, you're just too hurt by something, so you're not wanting to have a commitment with somebody. You're not wanting to take this chance because somebody might be wanting to offer you commitment, but it's like you're not wanting it. Because you just feel like you've just been too, through too much with somebody. You just don't want their offer. Alright, so let's see what signs or planets could be affecting you. Okay, the sun, so it could be a Leo. Or just the sun in general. The fourth house, so Cancer energy. Neptune and Uranus. Let's get one more Zodiac card. Sagittarius. So like expansion, so fourth house, Sagittarius, so Cancer and Sag, then we have Aquarius for Uranus, Pisces for Neptune, Leo for Sun, then we have the sixth house, Virgo, and then the goddess within here. Alright, so why is the Sun here? Okay, six of cups reverse. Alright, the devil reverse. Trying to like let go of attachments to somebody that's toxic. Somebody from your past. You're wanting to let go of a toxic attachment here but it's like you're unable to let something go because you still think about the past here could be with a water sign or a capricorn why is fourth house here four of wands something about wanting to have commitment with somebody long term you know family but the ten of swords somebody's hurting you here with the judgment or you have to make a painful decision maybe somebody coming back around it's like you have to make a painful decision whether or not you want to be with this person. Because it's like maybe you do want a commitment with them, but it's like you're not really sure if it's right, you know? Okay, why is Uranus here? Okay, so that's about like upheaval change. So the moon reversed, the three of swords and the knight of wands reversed. Something about heartbreak here, about finding out the truth about somebody, that they're non-committal or something painful here. Could be with a Sag or a Cancer. But finding out something painful that's hurting you, that somebody's not wanting to be committal, somebody's not wanting to do something here. What's Neptune about? So that's about your fantasies, illusion. Okay, king of wands. or somebody you're passionate about here, or is passionate about you, that dreams about you, that wants to offer you something, the knight of pentacles. So you could be having some two people, actually. It could be the king of wands, knight of pentacles. So there could be two people that are thinking about you, a Taurus or an, like an um, fire sign. I don't know why I'm thinking Aries and Taurus, but these two, like, they want, one wants an actual potential with you, wants to offer you stability, and the other person just maybe wants to have sex with you, or, yeah. Alright, so why is Sagittarius here? Two of Pentacles reverse. Could be having some off-balances with a Sagittarius, something not really stable. Maybe you guys are arguing a lot, or, let me see. With the Seven of Swords, could feel like they're deceiving you, they're not being honest. With the Queen of Wands. Maybe you feel like this person just wants attention. <laughs> Is that how you feel about me, that I just want attention? <laughs> Maybe you feel like someone's robbing you of your attention, or this person all they care about is being seen by other people. I don't know. I feel like I'm talking about myself, because I'm a Sag and she's a Pisces, so I'm like, ugh. Okay, let's go ahead and see what other signs you guys can be dealing with, and then I'll do the four card, or the six card spread. Okay. One second, guys. All right, so we have Taurus, Aries. Oh, that's why I thought the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Wands, because we do have the the Fool and then the Hierophant. So Aries, Taurus. Yeah, yeah. Taurus, Libra. 
Yeah. We got Cancer, Capricorn, <laughs> Aries again. Yeah, I keep getting fire and like earth energy and then Cancer a little bit. Let me write your guys' message down for the week. So, you are worthy. Okay, I wrote your guys' message down. Let me go ahead and get your six cards spread for the rest of the week. What's happening? See more in depth of what's going on. Or more like in the shadows of what we missed from these cards. So let's see. Do one more shuffle for Pisces. Alright, the first card that wanted to come out is the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Something's just not destined to happen. Okay, the Page of Pentacles. There's going to be some kind of offer coming in. Okay, the Empress reversed. The Devil reversed. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords reversed. I feel like there's going to be truth coming out about something. But there's going to be something that doesn't really have much growth. There's something that you're trying to fix within yourself. The Chariot, maybe you're trying to move forward, get out of your head about something. The Eight of Swords might be getting communication from somebody. Like a love proposal with the, Eight of, the Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. Okay, so you guys could be dealing with here, we have Taurus, Libra, and Capricorn, Charmaine, and then we have a lot of Earth and a little Air. So let me get one more shuffle, and I'm going to do the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So let's we'll see what's not destined for you this week. So what's not destined for Pisces this week? Okay, the Moon. Alright, Knight of Cups reversed, the World reversed. Something about... There's still things you don't know about something because someone's not wanting to come towards you and tell you. So there's going to be still a lot of unfinished business with you and somebody. A lot of things you still don't know, things you can't get past, okay? There's some kind of emotional thing not coming through. So it's still like secrets coming in that you don't know about. Things are, it's like whatever you're meant to find out isn't meant to ha happen yet. It's like you're supposed to wait a little bit longer for some kind of clarity on something, which is kind of messed up. That's kind of shitty. That the universe does it's this way but it's like you're supposed to like wait a little bit longer to know something i don't know page of pentacles so what's coming as an offer for you okay knight of pentacles reverse i don't really know if it's much of an offer six of cups could be somebody from your past wanting to i don't think it's anything too long term because the knight of pentacles is reversed so it's the page of pentacles so it's somebody younger maybe or some or something that's not very much of a value it's like a less of a value but somebody from your past or somebody that you've known from your childhood could be just something you guys are going to do something that costs money like going to a concert or you know something empress reverse seven of pentacles okay so it's like after time of no growth you guys are trying to rediscover yourself or try to regrow yourself lovers reverse the star queen of cups reversed okay it's like you guys are still having hope that you can fix something with yourself or have potential in a situation. Could be a love situation. It's like you're leaving your feelings out of it, but you know that you're hoping for things to change or things to grow. Okay, because you feel like there's no growth, things are stagnant, but you're trying to get your feelings out of it. Or be emotionally kind of disconnected, but still have hope that it's going to work out. Okay, devil reverse. We have the hair fit reverse. Letting go of somebody that's just non committal. Yeah, eight of swords. But you're stuck in your head about somebody that's non-committal or somebody that you're trying to release here. Somebody you don't have a commitment with, but it's like they get you stuck in your head. Alright, why is Seven of Pentacles here? Alright, Seven of Swords reversed. I feel like you're getting more of an understanding about something. Ace of Wands reversed, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, why something's not taken off? Okay, but I feel like there's going to be better things coming for you with the Seven of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're finding out the truth about why something's just not meant to work. Or why you just don't want to start something here. 
Seven of Swords Reverse. So it's a, you're finding out a lot of stuff this week because then we have that twice. Six of Swords Reverse. But a sense of not wanting to walk away from something after knowing the truth. Two of Pentacles still weighing out your options. It's like knowing something but not wanting to face it head on. It's like you're just kind of avoiding something, covering something up. It's like you know the truth about something but you're just ignoring it and just being like, okay, well, because we have the Emperor Reverse. It's like you're not really taking action for something but you're still kind of, you know, thinking, well, what if I did this or... What is, you know, this possibility happens, you know? Let's get one more card on the Emperor Reverse. Nine of Swords Reverse. Like I said, I feel like you're not thinking about something as much anymore, but you're still kind of, you know, almost like you're hoping something still kind of works out, even if you know the truth that it's not. You know, the King of Swords and the Strength. It's like somebody's holding back communication. But it's like someone's still willing to invest into you with the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. But somebody's more like work focused. So it could be you or this person. Somebody's more focused on their self or work. Okay, so let's see what signs you could be dealing with. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer again, Aries, Taurus. Okay, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys like the reading. Thanks, guys, for watching.